Hi folks, my name is John. Uh, my name is John too. Welcome to another Wednesday widget. I am up here in Canada with Grimsmo Knives. John Grimsmo here. Also got a YouTube channel, John Grimsmo, like YouTube slash John Grimsmo. So, uh, I can't believe you just said that because there's like zero chance that you're watching my channel and you don't know his channel. Uh, there is a link in one of these corners though to John's channel uh, if you don't know this. Um, we actually are thinking about posting half this video on my channel and half on his anyways. We'll see if that happens. So, I brought a chunk of aluminum, made it through customs without getting that <laughs> caught, and we have a shear hog that's actually not in the spindle at the moment, but I want to see what we can do with a shear hog on this DMG Morisiki Dura Vertical 5100. Um, I do love my Tormach a lot. It is fun to come play with this thing because it has 20 horsepower. So the cut that we are going to attempt, I can't believe I'm saying this out loud, is 12,000 RPMs, uh, 0.2 depth of cut, 0.7 width of cut, 234 inches a minute. Uh, I can't remember, I'm embarrassed to say whether that's 10 thou or 20 thou per tooth, but it is over 40 cubic inches a minute. So, yeah. It's still only like seven horsepower. It's like a third of the total capability. Yeah. <laughs> so let's... Um, it, what did the simulation say? Like 17 seconds or something? <laughs> it's, it's crazy short run time. Um, I obviously don't have the luxury of having experience filming on this machine. We do have a very, very Japanese sized yeah. window. Um, so bear with us on that. Let's take a look at the fusion sub real quick and then make some chips. Sounds good. While we're getting ready, I thought I'd just show you. This is the beast, the John's 1100. I think it's a Series 3 um, that has made many, a many a Norseman. Super cool. He's got a little bit of a different setup. I am a firm believer in the touch screen. Um, but he's got his setup here on the toolbox. Uh, he's got that Mighty Bite vacuum fixture plate, which I would probably go with something like that again. Actually, I really like the orange devices on his uh, more than I'll show you. Uh, a good, you know, modified pump system. Again, John's got some great stuff like this on his channel. He did the blue rapid air line. And I didn't realize, super cool, that this stuff has, because it has an aluminum lining inside of it, you can actually form it and shape it basically by hand. For instance, to go around that piece of structural steel there. Um, so super easy. I'm excited to look into that for our shop. I think it's sort of the plan at the moment. Uh, he, however, has a much nicer rotary screw compressor, which is super awesome. We've been talking a lot, uh, nerding out over his Torbach lathe and the you know 440 ID threading that he's been doing. He made his own video on, or his own. He made a video on making his own tool holder for that V series insert, which is super awesome. Um, he does he does great work uh, with that Tormach lathe. Um, it, it's it's just fun. And here he's setting up. Like I said, those orange vices are awesome because the left one has got the twin uh, jaws in it, the front and rear, but you can lift them off with car smarts, by the way, which are freaking sweet. But the right side shows the vice body supports a pin uh, fixture plate. I'll show you one over here in a minute. But it's just hot swappable by loosening it a little bit. Beautiful stuff. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys real quick. Totally something I want to look forward, whether it's on the toll box or whether we get a different machine for them. Boom. Pins are tight. Pin. Right. That's there why you go. Yeah, the pins are tight. Up. Isn't that awesome, folks? Um, so cool right there. And you can buy these from Orange or you can make your own. There's yeah, totally. There's other proprietary to it. Uh, beautiful pieces of equipment. Not a, not cheap, but uh, everyone who's had them seems to love them. There's our victim sitting right there. Boom. All right, we're finished up the shop tour. Heat treat oven, kind of cool, right? Hiding behind there. Uh, there's that other blank I was telling you about. Tormont service grinder with the belt attachment, which they love. We've still got the grinding wheel on ours and a little tumbler. Um, there's a video here again, link in the description, where you can see a really cool video tour of John, of his shop here. Uh, there's the 30 tool carousel, which is awesome. And there you can see me waving a little reflection. I facilitally left my um, camcorder in my truck, so I'm actually borrowing a camcorder. I hope this turns out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Let's, uh, Let's make some chips. Make some chips. Here's the fusion thing we've got. Unfortunately, um, i got to get somebody to help out John. He's got one of these things attached to his computer, and I 
we can use a maybe we can just use a sawzall or something to detach it and get that thing away from here. Um, I have to touch it right now. Forgive me. Um, here's our little part that uh, we are going to machine up in Fusion 360. Uh, the tool paths are just my blue. Actually, we'll post the F3D file here. You guys can download it and poke through it if you want for fun, uh, and we'll see what happens. So, with that, shall we? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's so not scary once it's actually running. It's so unimpressive. It's just boink, boink, and then that's it for me. <laughs> Very scary. Very scary. Backside for the Y. Remember that it's actually the center of the part. Oh, is it? Yeah. Ooh, that's different. OK, that's a whole different. Tricky. Way. We just don't need to manually override. I can't shoot this one. GG. So G233A2 dot D for diameter. Which will be like a three inch block, I think. Z and then. Well, that's a round block, we have square blocks. Okay, this is kind of pucker factor because I'm not used to doing <laughs> I'm not used to doing this on. There's always a first on camera. Oh boy. Uh, I gotta define it bigger than that. Yeah. Oops. I called it 2.5. Two point. It was close. Close oh, and we still have our Ruby attached. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah. I'd blame you if it wasn't. That would have cost me. Try this. Just I could go deeper too. Yeah, I gotta go deeper. Oh my god. You know what it is? You didn't start in the center enough. No, because I, no, I started high. So I went too five from my current position. But it's, oh, it goes enough. 